reporting for TTN HD Production Live here with executive producer, showrunner David Zuckerman. How did you get your start in the business? Uh, I actually began my career as a uh, an agent's assistant, and then I worked for Lorimar Productions and NBC as an executive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a terrible executive. Um, I had always wanted to write since I was a kid, and, and uh, I finally uh, realized I wasn't going anywhere as an executive, so I, I got very lucky and made the jump to full-time writing yeah. and never looked back. And you've written for Family Guy, King of the Hill. Have you been enjoying your experiences so far? Oh, my gosh. I've been incredibly lucky to be on um, shows that I that I would actually watch. Um, I, 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 yeah, I've only been on, I've, only, I've been lucky to be on really creative, unusual shows. Um, I worked a lot in animation where you have the opportunity to do um, really different kinds of stories. You're not locked into three sets and six characters. Mm -hmm. um, it's very freeing. Um, I've been very fortunate, I, I've, I'm having a blast. Great, and right now you're working as executive producer, showrunner on Wilfred. How did you get involved in this show? Um, uh, my agents sent me uh, the Australian show, and I watched it, and it, it was, I had never seen anything like it. I just, I, I was just fascinated by the concept, and um, I, it, the Australian show was sort of, um, I think a little too uh, peculiar and a little too absurd for American audiences, but I really loved the concept. Um, it, it reminded me a lot of uh, the movie Harvey and um, some other, some other uh, like Calvin and Hobbes. I, I, I didn't think of it at the time, but that was definitely an influence and a little bit of Fight Club. I love the idea of a, um, an advisor who you know, may or may not actually be there. And, uh, <laughs> And um, you know, made some adjustments to it that that I thought made it made the appeal or the made it a little more accessible for American audiences. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just I, and I and I was just blown away by Jason Gann in the in the original. And when I found out that he wanted to do the American version as well, I was like, oh my God, this is this is great. Great. And can you give me a bit of insight into your creative process? How do you how do you go about writing? Oh man. Um, it's a struggle, honestly. <laughs> um, the, I think the first step in my process is probably uh, a good two or three days of procrastination and <laughs> denial. Um, I think, but I actually, I've come to accept that as part of the process. I, I think uh, it, it's kind of like a, the idea has to percolate a little bit inside my head before I can actually sit down and, and you know, uh, start, start actual writing. Um, I, I, I have, every time I try to start a script, I think I'm just going to write all the way through. I'm going to get my first draft down, and I never do that. I just constantly keep going back and rewriting as I go. So by the time I'm finished, I actually have a pretty good first draft done, um, and then I can start the rewriting process. But I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I hate everything that I write until just before it's done, and then and then something clicks, and I, I feel like it all comes together right at the end. Wonderful. And how do you find balancing responsibilities between the creative side of things and then being more in charge of organizational side of things? Uh, I, I surround myself with really good people. Um, <laughs> I'm really fortunate to have you know great writers on on the writing staff and a fantastic director producer in Randall Einhorn and um, my producing partners at Prospect Park. Um, and the network and, and at FX, they, you know, everybody sort of helps um, focus me where I need to get focused. And uh, it's, I, I have to say, I, I enjoy the creative part much more than the actual producing part. Mm -hmm. um, but, and, I, and I'm new to live action, so a lot of this has been, uh, or fairly new, I haven't worked in live action for a while. So it, a lot of it has been a learning process for me and it's been fun to see you know, to do things differently and to see the immediacy of it. In animation, it takes us, you know, a year to produce an episode. In this, we produce 13 episodes, you know, in, in 10 weeks. And other than writing for Wilfred, are you doing other, do you write for yourself on the side? Do you have other projects going? Or? Uh, I'm working on a feature that I've been, uh, I, I just, there's, there's really not a lot of time to do, to focus on anything else. I, I'm kind of a one project guy. When, when I'm on something, it, 
it really lives in my head 24 hours a day and there's not a lot of room for you know I make a little bit of room for my family and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's not a lot of room for other projects so I, I mostly try to focus on one thing at a time well thank you so much David and best of luck with Wilfred and we'll keep watching oh thanks thank you. thanks I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD production <laughs>